So how did you prepare yourself as the pet parent to let your little boy go to doggy daycare? Oh my gosh. So funny because I go there twice a week and I train. I know all these people. I have seen them handle anything and everything. And I trust them. Like I have no concerns about their skill levels or whatever. Um, and I trust the facility. I mean, the, I could not be a more comfortable person with that location. However, I did stand there the entire time and watched him on the camera. And I kept apologizing to the front desk, like, I'm going to lurk here because the second he starts getting, you know, um, if he, if he declines or if he has a hard time, I just want to pull him out and take him Cause I was flexible like that. Um, and I wouldn't encourage that because that's really not how they should operate. That was a favor they were doing for me that I could just stand there. Cause I was, I was supposed to be working that day, but the person didn't show up. So I was kind of loitering. Um, so <laughs> I just, I just try to remind myself of if this was another dog, as I was watching it, what would I think? And I had to keep saying that to myself. And I saw nothing but a hat, like he took five minutes and he was normal daycare dog. It was as if he'd been there before. He was so happy. He was meet greeting everybody. So he, once he got over that hump and I didn't, I couldn't leave. I just stood there in the lobby and I just watched, watched the camera. Um, and then finally I was like, I think I'm going to call it. And then I just took him and took him home and it was great. It was ending on a good note, which is important in dog training in people socializing. Like let's, let's leave before it turns worrisome to me. Cause I want to keep this a positive experience. 